Hello, my friends. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Um, I haven't made one of these vlogs since before I went to Burning Man, which is now almost three weeks ago. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the uh, long delay in between these, but I hope you all have been enjoying the uh, videos I recorded at Burning Man, some of my very favorite spinners. Um, this, I believe, also marks one year since I started this here video blog. So, uh, happy one years old video blog. And to start off, um, if you, like me, have been enjoying Mel, the uh, Russian phenom's video of his performance at the Fires Festival, you've probably seen him work that little piece of magic, right? Yes, I thought you might. I am a big fan of switching from, I think I would call this like um, a hybrid stall switch. Um, if it, it, indeed it needs a name, I don't know what that does. But, um, the fascinating thing you can do with this is treat it as a zero point when it's over on the side, right? Which Mel discovered, and actually at Burning Man, Bass came up with a, uh, a very, very similar idea based upon this, which is that uh, you can also plane bend out of that zero point. Uh, Bass, however, looked at it in terms of internal planes, like so. Hmm. Fascinating, right? I didn't do it. So the trick to that is that as the two poi, God bless it, are on their way back down, you switch into uh, what's essentially an internal buzzsaw. And then, of course, you can do some more plane shifts if you're feeling like it. So, I'm a big fan of this. Um, it's kind of tricky when you're first getting into it because you literally like have to let it fall into place, but um, it looks really, really cool, at least I think so. Um, and it also fits well with our next trick, aha! Which uh, Nick Woolsey posted a video a few weeks back. Um, it basically was a... Uh, a, two, a little fly on the wall video of him teaching a class on uh, how to arrange the petals and anti-spin flowers to uh, an audience down in Costa Rica. And the reason behind this class is eventually because one can get to the point where one can reverse the direction of their flowers by uh, emphasizing the petal placement and turning it into a stall. Like so. Now, playing around with this helped me realize so you can use this as a transition into that hybrid stall switch as well. And um, Baz is a big fan of uh, taking this idea of switching straight between these two varieties of uh, hybrid stall switches. But uh, I realized that there's another way to do it, which is that when you are up at the top of the path, it also qualifies as a zero point. Like so. Which one can then switch in and out of to one's pleasure. really helped me realize that pretty much any position where you stop with one point up and one point down, perfect opportunity to go into this. So uh, play away and see how uh, see how that comes together because you can also do things like a cap, plane shift into it, like so. Using the Baz method. 
can also do it from those anti-skin flowers. There's a whole world of stuff you can do in there. Um, yeah, next up, hyperloops, hyperloops, hyperloops. So, they're looking better than they did. I have made some progress. They're still not perfect, but they're looking better than they were a month ago. And for that, I'm proud. Um, next up. So something that Bez showed me um, at a wedding he and I both went to several weeks ago was this thing that uh, G's been doing where he'll say be moving in butterfly and then, oh, he'll switch it 90 degrees, like so. And, oh, and, oh, and essentially just what that is is switching into a horizontal anti-spin flower, right? Which I was having a really, really rough time with, but the tips that Baz gave me actually helped out a hell of a lot. Which is namely, practice it by just doing pendulums and opposites. And when, whoop, goes that. when the poi reach the apex, I have a lot more moving in to do here. When the poi reach the apex of um, the arcs as pendulums, you actually pull your hands towards your body, like so. And it helps guide them into that nice, kind of anti-spinny, flicky thing above your hands, like so. Which also lends itself great to fly rhythm hybrids, like so. Oh. So, yeah, that, I'm just beginning to scratch the surface on that one. But uh, I definitely recommend it. Anybody who's interested in that, dive in. So, I believe uh, that is this week summed up. I'll have more for you all next week. And uh, once again, thank you all so much for watching. See you on the flip side.